everybody, it is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer coming to a home near you for reading a lovely Christmas story. But no, we're not doing it. We're not doing it, guys. Look, I'm going to be frightening all the children. This is meant to be a ho 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 happy face mask. In the name of the wee man, what's going on? Look at the chip of me. Ho ho ho. That's more for Halloween, that. So, be back with you in a minute when I find something a little bit more appropriate for children's reading. Righty ho, I don't know if you can see all that glitter. I'm all glitter all over the place. I think that's a little bit more appropriate, don't you think, girls and boys and whoever's watching? So, before we get into bed with our munchies, look, Eddie the elf, he's got his wee headband on, same as mine. And he's got his fluffy pink bathrobe on. I told you, I'm having a pamper night tonight. So he's got, let me see what he's got. He's got his candy cane. I'm just going to pop that in there. That's for a wee munch in bed. And I indeed have a little shortbread type biscuit in the shape of Rudolph. Oh, is that going to be terrible to come off? I do not know, but it was a lot better than the one I've just put on. So... Let's get into the bed, get curried in, and we shall read the night before, the night before Christmas. I do have my Christmas jammies on, mummy dear. And we do have the bottoms, tartan bottoms, and my lovely fluffy socks that I showed you on the last video. So I'm just going to get under the covers now, and we shall begin. Move over, Eddie. Goodness me. Can you see us all right over there? <laughs> there you go, Eddie. I'm going to set you over here. No? Yes, that's better. Right, here we go. Macy, I hope you're all ready for Santa Claus coming. Oh, this is lovely. Lovely jubbly. I haven't had a little um, pamper session or a chill in the bed for a long, long time. So, as I was saying at the beginning, I do apologise. I will try my very hardest to get this up this evening. It is the 23rd, but I have a video uploading at the moment. And depending on the bandwidth and everything else, our internet goes up and down like a yo-yo, and we do have pouring rain down there, so I do not know. But let's read this. Macy, Granny bought you this book, Granny Claire Bear, The Night Before the Night Before Christmas. And that's because it's the 23rd today. Now you will get this book, but I'll put it in your wee memory box at the moment until such times you can get it. And Millie, hello. I hope you've been good for Santa coming. Look at all these lovely pictures. I'll give you a wee flick through some of them before I start. Look at those. Absolutely beautiful. Let's begin. I hope you're not too far away. Right, the night before Christmas. Curry curry din, and it's large enough writing for your granny Claire Bear to um, read it without her spectacles on. I can feel my face going all tight. Let me see. It was the night before the night before Christmas. That's Christmas Eve Eve. Did you know that? Christmas Eve Eve. And Santa was wiping his brow on his sleeve. Green elves they were sewing. Blue elves they were counting. Red elves they were carving. And the pressure was mounting. Be quick, Santa bellowed. There's so much to do. My list is so long. It just isn't true. The elves put their heads down and trebled their speed. Ten billion presents were what they would need. Swing balls were tested and puppets were strung. Board games were boxed up and slinkies were sprung. Skateboards were oiled and yo-yos were threaded. Dollies were dressed and teddies, well... They were teddied. 
The workshop resounded with elves hard at work. There was no time to rest, there was no time to shirk. Santa looked down and studied his list. He was sure that he's sure there was something or someone he had missed. Aeroplanes, bicycles, boomerangs and drums. Pogo sticks, spinning tops, sugar mice and sugar plums. He ticked all the boxes then turned with a jump because Mrs Claus arrived with a plate and a hump. Santa, she grumbled, you've been asked and you've been told. Now look what has happened. Your dinner has gone cold. Santa frowned crossly. I've no time to eat. There's reindeer to get ready and there's deadlines to meet. The cold winter stew then gets plonked on the table. Santa harumpled and went to his table. Up Dasher, up Dasher, up Donner and Blitzen. Up Comet, up Cupid, up Prancer and up Vixen. The reindeers all woke up and clowned to their feet. They had slept for a full year and they needed to eat. A full year without eating. That's them just waking up. Look, after a year sleeping. Ooh. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. With the reindeer refueled and time ticking by, Santa ran out and looked straight up to the sky. The North Star was twinkling and snowflakes were falling. Excitement was building. Christmas was calling. Back in our workshop, the shelves were now lined with presents and gifts of every kind. Kites had been ribboned and printing sets inked, spinning tops balanced, and tiddlers were winked. One over here, Eddie. That right here. There we go. <coughs> Toys had been tested, batteries loaded, instruments tuned, computer games coded. Remember, said Santa, our schedule is tight. The elves gave an odd and worked through the night. Pop guns were loaded and uh, footballs inflated, candy canes twisted and train sets Tin plated. Dolls' clothes were folded. Annuals were printed. Tangerines were polished. And chocolate coins were minted. Santa thought hard as the presents pile grew. He was sure there was something. Just something he forgot to do. With takeoff time now only hours away, he raced back outside to inspect his sleigh. The elves in high vis had done Santa proud. Da da! They exclaimed as they threw off the shroud. Jet washed and polished, red, silver, and gold, the sleigh was a picture of joy to behold. Good job, Santa shouted. Three cheers for you! If I didn't know better, I'd say it was new. Inside the workshop, the elves began clapping. The presents were made and it was time to get wrapping. Paper was folded and scissors were snipped. Labels were written and fine fountain pens dipped. Keep going, cried Santa. It's Christmas Eve morning. There's no time for breakfast and no time for yawning. I guess you could say that the elves have the knack. See! Ten billion presents in one magic sack.
Bazzi, 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 bazzi